Right. We can do that at about 30% less cost as it has been shown as what it takes to treat a patient through the emergency room. Mm -hmm. This has been done in Peoria with to great success. Um, deductibility for medical expenses I've talked about. At the end of the day, after the end of all this, you're still going to have folks that can't afford insurance. And I want to talk about prescription drugs, and then I promise we'll get to the open forum. But at the end of the day, you're still going to have folks that cannot afford insurance. And I believe that's the time to address whether the government has an option to come in and help people on a sliding scale, on a means-tested basis, to be able to afford insurance on the private market. But we can do that without creating a whole new government program, right. without adding 16,500 IRS agents, by the way, which this bill provides for. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We can do it at a fraction of the cost and solve the problem and begin to bring the cost of medicine down. Medicine used to not cost so much. Now it costs a whole lot of money. There's obviously a reason in there, and I think we can wrestle that down. When it comes to prescription drugs, if GlaxoSmithKline, the reason I think it's so out of control in our country, if GlaxoSmithKline says we've got a new pill that we created and they want to sell it around the world because it's a very good pill and it solves a lot of problems, they go to the Germans. The Germans say, sure, we'd love to have your pill here. The problem is, uh, GlaxoSmithKline, we have price controls and we only allow, you can only sell it for 50 cents a pill. That's the maximum. Well, GlaxoSmithKline says, well, doggone it, that's how much it costs to actually make the pill, but that doesn't cover our research expenses that we have to recruit back. So they end up selling it in Germany because they believe the Germans should have this because it's good medicine and, you know, it's another market for them. The problem is that happens everywhere and we are forced to pay for the research of those pills. Mm -hmm. So America is funding the drug research for the rest of the world. And that is part of the reason the cost of prescription medicine is so out of line. So there's areas that we can attack that. We need to have a full discussion about that. So anyway, we drag the cost down and then we talk about where the government can come in and, and, and help folks afford it and ensure that people can be insured and covered. Not just sign a big fat bill and put it on your children. That's the wrong answer. So that's my brief thoughts on what we need to do about health care. I know the question is going to come up, can this bill be repealed? Uh, I may as well address that now. Uh, I believe it can. I'm actually, I believe that we need to repeal, but restart this. Repeal and then rediscuss what we need to talk about. Okay? Um, and that's what I believe needs to happen. And I believe it can be done, but it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take people remembering exactly what needs to happen in 2010 and 2012 to do that. Uh, but we'll talk a little more about that. I'd like to open the floor um, to anybody that has a statement or a question. And I guess we don't have another microphone, so maybe you'll just have to speak up. So back here first, if you'd like to. Um, you had mentioned something about existing conditions. Yes. Um, I'm thinking that the state is going to say, you know, I was born with a home for my right mother, and I lost my job three years ago. My home is gone. No one will cover me. What are you going to do? Well, I appreciate that, and that's exactly what I, I'm talking about is, first off, I believe that we have to drive the cost of medicine down and then provide you an opportunity. You know, insurance companies can't deny pre-existing conditions. That's part of what we want to get into. And then insurance companies being able to receive help from the government on your behalf if you can't afford insurance to allow you to afford insurance. I can afford it, I just can't find it. So if you deal with the Well, yeah. I, I, have you looked into, like, you know, the iChips program at all? The high risk pool in, in Illinois, that's something to take a, to take a look at. $5, Say that again, I'm sorry. I they want $1,500 a month more than my mortgage payment to have $5,000 deductible, no prescription. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I understand. That's a what, I might as well be dead going to the emergency room, but the time they just always in their house. No, and see, and here's the thing is I believe that we can get to a point, that's what I'm talking about, where everybody can have insurance. But we've got to drag the cost of medicine down because right now I understand exactly what you're going through. I'm very. I have, my father cannot be insured. He has a pre-existing condition. He's dealing with the exact same thing, um, and he's part of ICHIPS. I understand exactly what that is, and we can get to a point where we can make sure that there is no pre-existing conditions denied, where people can all get insured. The government can help them afford it. And by the way, if we lowered the state line requirements, it might be much easier for you to find insurance because now there's 1,500 plans out there in the country that all want to insure people. In Illinois, there's only a handful of them. 
So you can only right now shop around Illinois.